everyone welcome back to my channel today we're gonna to be doing a review on the Dior forever transfer proof lipsticks if you do want to see a review and a demo then please keep watching as a huge favor if you like this video give it a thumbs up and comment anything down below I greatly appreciate it I read all the comments and I will do my best to reply back each lipstick retails for $42 at Sephora that's a lot of money for a lipstick to be quite honest the majority of the shades are sold out online I was able to purchase four shades that are currently available on their website hopefully this lipstick is transfer proof as they claim I do want to read a little bit about these lipsticks on Sephora's website a transfer proof lipstick with up to 16 hours of wear. A bare lip feel and an ultra pigmented color with a couture matte finish. Here's a closer look on what the packaging looks like. It says Dior up at the top. Down at the bottom it says Rouge Dior Forever. You get 3.2 grams of product or 0.11 ounces. Up at the top you have the shade name. This shade is 458 Forever Paris. This side of the packaging there's nothing printed. On the other side you have the list of ingredients. On the back underneath the barcode it does state that these lipsticks were made in France. Let's see what this shade looks like. Here's what the inside looks like. It does state twist lipstick up two millimeters and then close tightly. And then inside we do have the lipstick. Here's what the lipstick tube looks like. You have the logo here and it's printed up at the top. Down at the bottom you have the shade name. Let's see what this shade looks like. Ooh, this is so pretty. Let's see how much product we get. Hopefully it can twist back down. We'll see. Here's how much product comes inside of the tube. Not a whole lot of product for $42. $4.58 Forever Paris is described as a bright pink. That shade is really pretty. It does twist all the way down, just in case if you were curious. I applied one coat. I expected it to be a little bit more pigmented. You can see my dark upper lip peeking through. I do want to see if it is buildable. I also want to see if it is really transfer proof. So let's do a kiss test on the back of my hand to see if it really is. This is not transfer proof at all. As you can see, the product came off on the back of my hand. Here's what my lips look like. It looks very uneven. On the box, there's no directions on how to apply it. It just seems like a normal, regular lipstick. Let me look on Sephora's website. It doesn't even say to wait or anything. It claims to wear up to 16 hours. I'm not sure why they say that when it transfers. I'm going to apply a second layer. Here's what two layers look like. This shade is so beautiful. I'm going to be using my fan. I'm going to dry this up a bit. I'll do another kiss test on the back of my hand. Here's the first kiss test and here's the second kiss test. A lot of product came off. I'm so confused. How is this transfer proof? If you have this lipstick, please let me know in the comments down below how you apply it. It's not transfer proof for me. Maybe it's just this shade. Let's see what the next shade looks like. The next shade is called 999 Forever Dior. Forever Dior is described as a coral red. Wow, that's so vibrant. Here's what the shade in Forever Dior looks like. I actually really like this red shade. I do want to do another kiss test on the back of my hand just to see if this shade transfers. I removed the previous swatches. What? There's absolutely no transfer. I'm shocked. The majority of the product is still on my lips. I'm so confused. Why did the red shade not transfer, but the previous pink shade transferred? Is this even the same formula? I want to do another kiss test. There's nothing. I do want to point out that this lipstick is emphasizing all of the wrinkles on my lips. This is a matte formula, so it does look a bit drying on the lips. It states that it is hydrating, but I don't feel any hydration on my lips. The second to last shade is called 400 Forever Nude Line. Forever Nude Line is described as a deep brown nude. That shade is so beautiful. Here's what the shade in Forever Nude Line looks like. 
This shade is absolutely stunning. Again, I do want to do a kiss test on the back of my hand just to see if this shade transfers. This shade transferred as well. As you can see, this is the amount of product that came off on the back of my hand. The majority of the product is still on my lips, which is amazing. I want to do another kiss test. Let's see if it transfers once more. There's a little bit of transfer on the second kiss test. It doesn't look like any product was removed. I'm surprised that only the red shade didn't transfer. I'm not sure why. I left it the same amount of time as I did with the red color. For some reason, it's transferring. Maybe certain colors, it takes a little bit more dry time. I'll definitely leave below in the description box how it does wear throughout my day. Let's see what the last shade looks like. The last shade is called 111 Forever Night. Forever Night is described as a deep berry black. This shade is really pretty. Here's what the shade in Forever Night looks like. Another beautiful shade. Here's what all four shades look like swatched on the back of my hand. Let's see if these transfer. It looks like I'm getting a little bit of transfer. Got a little bit of transfer on the last two shades, but the first two shades aren't budging at all. My final thoughts on these lipsticks is that I really do like them. I'm not completely sold on the transfer proof. I will be doing a wear test on this shade in Forever Night. I will leave below in the description box how it does wear, but these four shades are really beautiful. I did apply two coats to get an even application. Maybe that's why I'm not getting the transfer proof. With one coat, I wasn't getting even application. It looked a little bit patchy. This is a matte formula. It will emphasize the wrinkles on your lips. It doesn't feel hydrating on my lips. I'm gonna press my lips together. It doesn't feel like I have any product on my lips, which is really nice. I do want to do another kiss test on the back of my hand to see if this shade transfers. There wasn't a lot of product that transferred on the back of my hand. And again, the color stayed put on my lips. Let me know in the comments down below which shade was your favorite and if you have tried these lipsticks from Dior. If you guys did enjoy this video, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, please do subscribe. I will see you guys in my next video.